Hello, in this video I will show you how to digitally kitbash in Mesh Mixer. The original idea for this composition was Andrea Tarabella's from Artisan Guild. I will attempt to create a displacer beast. I will import my parts now. We'll need one panther from the Amazon Kickstarter set by Artisan Guild. And two tide tentacles from the tide tyrant from the Jurakin Patreon release from Artisan Guild as well. Click append. You can drag and drop your parts. I will select all of my parts, edit, then transform and rotate them by 90 degrees to make it easier to work with. Now, the next thing to do is scale my tentacles to an appropriate size. Select them both by holding shift, click edit, then transform. Make sure uniform scaling is checked and then scale by whatever factor you think is appropriate. I'll just make them 75% what they were. The next thing to do will be to align our tentacles to the axis system and namely I will align this square joint to be perpendicular to the plane. Click select your tentacle, click edit, transform, select world frame and then just do your best to make sure that this peg is aligned with the axis. Let me just hide this because it's in the way. Ctrl Shift O to view your object browser and check the little eye and now it's hidden. Back to transform mode world frame and I will just do this should hide the panther as well for now and the line some more and a little bit this way <clears throat> okay that should be good enough the reason we do this is to make it easier to put the peg into the panther. Uh, now we'll need to make this permanent. So analysis, sorry, edit, align, and just accept. And what this has done is it has aligned our world frame to our local frame. Now if I rotate this, the local frame will keep my peg aligned with itself, while the world frame is separate again all right now do the same for the other tentacle select it transform make sure you're in world space and rotate it until it's aligned with the axis That's all right. Edit and the line again and accept. Now, what we'll do is align our tentacles to our panther. So, um, in your object browser, make everything vis visible again. Select your tentacle, edit, transform, local frame this time, and just move it to a position you think would be appropriate for the model you're trying to make. I'm going to try to set it here, right after the shoulder blade, in order to minimize the joint impact. So I think that's fine. And slide it in until you can no longer see the joint. Perfect. 
do the same for the other one edit transform local frame and then just rotate and translate until it's somewhere you think would be appropriate for your model This doesn't really fit this way around. I'm going to try it another direction. Let's try it this way. Again, I'm going for behind the shoulder blade. And this is good enough, I think. Awesome. So now that we've aligned everything, this is what it would look like. We need to prepare it for printing. So what we'll need to do is open up your Object Explorer again, select your two tentacles, click Edit and Duplicate. Hide the originals. And now what we'll do is a Boolean difference between the panther and each of the tentacles. Select the panther first, hold Shift, select the tentacle and click Boolean difference. You'll notice that a hole has been created where our tentacle should fit. Except if it's appropriate. Then do the same for the other tentacle. Select your panther first. Shift click the other tentacle. Boolean difference again. Check the preview. And accept. Click view, open, show your objects browser again, display your tentacles. And now what we need to do is export these three models so that they fit together. So select your panther, click export. Display search beast body. Select your first tentacle, click export, displacer based tentacle one. And displacer beast tentacle two. And now you can import the pieces into your slicer of choice and print them separately. Good luck!